Welcome to the Fish House Nation podcast presented by Catch Cover, your home for ice fishing news, tips, stories, and strategies. And now, your host, Chris Larson. Hello and welcome to the Fish House Nation podcast. The ice season is wrapping up. I still have some fishable ice in the Twin Cities metro area, but it's going fast. And of course, we're all dealing with the effects of the coronavirus, so I wanted to bring cheer and happiness to this episode. And as a man with a strong appetite, there's no better way to get happy than to talk about food. Today's episode is all about my favorite fish fry recipes. I love sunfish and crappies for the pan, but these recipes should work for just about anything, including perch and walleye. My all-time favorite and most frequent staple recipe is a simple method. A family of four would probably want about 30 fillets. I take a few eggs and a cup of milk to create an egg wash. Then I cover a plate with Italian breadcrumbs. You can find these breadcrumbs just about anywhere, and the brand doesn't seem to matter. After soaking about 10 fillets in the egg wash, cover both sides of each fillet thoroughly with the breadcrumbs. I'll make a nice stack of 6 to 8 fillets on the plate before dropping them in hot oil. I generally use vegetable oil but peanut oil is also pretty tasty. The oil should be around 375 degrees. If you're pan frying, three to four minutes on each side is sufficient, and if you're deep frying, about five minutes in the fryer should be perfect. Keep an eye on the fish and cook until golden brown. Another delicious take on this classic recipe is buffalo fillets. I saw Jay Siemens do this on his YouTube channel a few years ago, and I absolutely love it. It's similar to the classic fish fry, except you use Frank's Red Hot instead of the egg wash. Soak the fillets in red hot sauce and then coat with breadcrumbs. Jay uses panko, but I think the breadcrumbs are a little finer and they coat the fish better. Breadcrumbs are also much easier to find, which comes in handy if you're shopping in small grocery stores like you'll find near great fishing spots. After the fish are fried, coat the bottom of a frying pan with some more of that Frank's Red Hot and heat it up. Then toss the fillets in the hot sauce before serving. If you like buffalo wings and you like fish, you're going to love this recipe. British style beer batter is also a family favorite in our house and easier to make than you think. The batter is simple. You take one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a 12-ounce beer. The baking powder is essential to giving the batter a light, fluffy texture. And here's a personal tip. Use Lining Kugel's Honey Vice beer. There's just a touch of sweetness in the beer that makes for a really good batter. Mix all the ingredients together to make the batter. Then cover a plate with some extra flour and pat the fillets dry with a paper towel. Then roll your fillets in the flour before dipping them in the beer batter. Fry in oil at 375 degrees for 5 to 8 minutes or until golden brown. It's that simple, and other than the baking powder, you'll probably have all of those ingredients in your fish house. You get extra points for using this batter on sliced onions for some homemade onion rings. If you're on a low-carb diet or just trying to eat a little better while still enjoying some delicious fish, here's a good alternative for you. Coat both sides of the fillets with your favorite spice or dry rub. I coat the meat as if I'm dry rubbing barbecue ribs. Heat up a non-stick skillet with a little olive oil and brown both sides of the filet. You only need about three to four minutes per side with crappies and sunnies, a little longer with walleye filets. You can also bake them, about eight to ten minutes for crappies and sunnies, 12 to 15 minutes for walleye. You're looking at about 400 degrees. The lighter method is also fantastic for fish tacos. Most fish tacos you'll get in a restaurant are grouper or tilapia, Crappies and sunnies make awesome fish tacos, and the lighter taste of the fish without the breading is superb on tacos. Squeeze some lime and add your favorite taco ingredients, and you're ready to eat. And speaking of ready to eat, I'm ready to start cooking. Thanks for listening. Next week's episode will be all about getting your gear ready for the off-season. Several states are under stay-at-home orders right now, but there's still plenty you could do to get ready for your favorite outdoor pursuits. And speaking of other outdoor pursuits, the Fish House Nation podcast is now shifting to a a once-a-week format. We'll continue with one show a week until September, and then we'll amp it right back up to two shows a week. But if you enjoy Great Lakes fishing, I'd like to invite you over to our other podcast show. 
The Great Lakes Fishing Podcast focuses on chasing salmon, trout, and walleye on the big waters of the Great Lakes. If you're a hardcore big lake angler or just want to learn more about it, check the show out. You can find the Great Lakes Fishing Podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, SoundCloud, and YouTube. I also wanted to let you know that despite the stay-at-home order due to the coronavirus situation, Catch Cover and CatchCover.com is still up and running. Our sales and service team are working remotely from their homes, so if you need something or have a question, feel free to call. They'll be happy to talk to you. We have one person in the office right now fulfilling orders, so if you need something for a spring fish house project, don't hesitate to order. We'll still get it out to you as long as shipping services continue to operate. Thanks for listening, and stay healthy. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for listening to the Fish House Nation podcast presented by Catch Cover. For more ice fishing content, visit our blog at catchcover.com.